All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today I'm finally gonna bring you my OnePlus Nord N20. This device right now, you can only get it on T-Mobile from what I understand. Uh, and it should be fairly nice, man. I looked at the specs next to some other phones. Uh, and it has a Snapdragon Qualcomm um, 695, six gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. It actually has a SD card slot. Now that's UFS 2.2, so you're not gonna get the fastest back and forth transfer, but Ultimately, it does have an SD card slot and coming in at only $282, so weird price, but $282 on T-Mobile at full cost. Uh, this should be worth it. So OnePlus lately has been, you know, they've been doing all right, man. I've been liking them. So I do have several other OnePlus devices, but we're going to look at this one right here. Now, this has a 64 uh, megapixel f1.4 camera on, on the back, a wide angle camera. Uh, and it has a two megapixel and another two megapixel, which are macro and depth. Don't like when they do that, but you know, hey, that's what they do. It's a, this is a 5G device too, so I'll pop my SIM card in there and we'll get some 5G going. But this is how it's gonna come to you. And again, unfortunately, I had to buy this on T-Mobile. I waited and see if there was some kind of unlocked version, but there's not. Uh, so, you know, had to grab it from T-Mobile. Not too bad, you know, after it's paid for in full, you, it's paid in full, so you, you can get it unlocked. Well, let's pop it open here. Now we do have the device. Now this is totally not what I was expecting. I didn't know it had like this two-tone look. It's got like a glossy part at the bottom. And then this portion at the top of here is like a frosted matte, which is really cool. And the sides are all flat, they're matte. You got a microphone up top. You got the SIM tray on this top of the part of the device up here, volume rocker, power button. Now, unfortunately this does not have the uh, vibrate mute switch. Uh, but it does have a headphone jack, type C, and a loudspeaker down there. I don't believe this has a stereo speaker. No, it has a loudspeaker, so it just has a single speaker down here. Uh, and you've got the earpiece up top and a front camera here that comes in at 16 megapixels. Now, with this being a Snapdragon processor inside, and it does come with a charger, uh, this is what, 33 watts fast charging? Yeah, 33 watts fast charging. So. The fact that it comes with a fast charger, it's crazy. And you get the uh, USB to uh, USB-A there. So this is gonna be a fun run here. Now, again, I do have several uh, OnePlus devices. And you know, my only complaint about this so far is that you know I, I had to get it on T-Mobile. You know, <laughs> That's my only complaint. I really wanted to get an unlocked version. Uh, but I couldn't. They this, they don't have an unlocked version for the U.S., so I had to grab it on T-Mobile. And again, I have. I'll show you some size comparisons here in just a second. Here, uh, here it is next to the the my Nord N200. Uh, this is I bought the 100. This is the 200, and I, I also bought the N10, which is this. This is the N20. So that's technically what this one should be kind of replacing. But here is the um, the uh, the the N two hundred here is the One Plus Ten Pro. That's their latest device, and I believe I had to look at my box there. I think these these are all the devices that I have that are One Plus in my catalog at the moment because I actually sold the other devices. So here they all are right here. This is the latest edition right here. So we get these out of the way and we'll take a look at this device here. I'm pretty excited to finally get this in. I was really on the fence about whether I should get this or not. Really agitated that I had to get it on T-Mobile. Uh, but I will go ahead and put my SIM card in here. And I'll get it all set up. And there's that SD card slot that they have. Uh, it's good that they have an SD card slot. I don't understand why uh, phone manufacturers now only give the SD card slot to the phones that don't cost a lot of money. That's just the strangest thing to me. Uh, I'll, I'll never understand that, but this is what they're doing. So uh, there you go, it's picking up service there. And I'll get this um, all signed in here, but this is what it's gonna look for you right out of the box. It's weird how they, there you go, 5G, all right. Um, 5G UC, so it's on T-Mobile's good network there. It, it trips me out how they tell you you have to agree to these terms, and if you disagree, it kicks you right back out of the phone. It's like, how, how can I get past it? How can I set it up? So let me sign in. 
Really good haptic feedback when typing on the keyboard. This phone is really narrow, lightweight, thin. Um, and we're gonna take a look at this hardware up close here, man. This is some good looking hardware. I just can't believe it. Uh, but um, I'm gonna finish setting this up. I won't bore you with that, uh, but we'll get into this. All right, guys, welcome back to the next part of the video. So I got the device all set up here and let's just take a quick look at the hardware here. So you've got these flat sides all the way around. You've got the headphone jack again, type C loudspeaker and a microphone down there. And again, with that microphone on the top right there. Uh, and then you've got the volume rocker on this side of the device. The left side is facing you with the SIM tray on that side. And then on the right side, you just have a single power button. So again, they, they got rid of the vibrate mute switch, but I really feel like having this in hand now that they actually could have put that switch on there. They just kind of chose not to. Now the device does have an end screen fingerprint reader. Uh, which is uh, really fast for what it is. And it also has uh, a facial recognition. You can see how fast that is. And here is the beautiful display. So I'm gonna crank the brightness up here. This is full brightness. And I loaded up a video here so you can see it. One of my videos that I always play to test and you can see how beautiful this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the loudspeaker real quick. Welcome back to another video with your man Jay. So I was on a little bit of a small vacay over the weekend. Uh, so the, the phone's display in person is really nice. It only plays upscale to 1080p. It won't allow you to play content in 4K. The highest it'll go is 1080p. Uh, and it is a 1080p display. I put it on advanced and you can see here, this is the highest I get right here. Now this is a 4K video, but again, this particular device is probably limited by its processor, 695 processor. Uh, but that's not, you know, something that should turn you away from it. This is a $280 device. And I know that you can probably find other $200 devices that might be able to upscale to 4K or have a different processor. But this is what OnePlus is offering for the N20 5G. And all these limitations that it might have is probably simply just because of the processor. Also, the camera does not record in 4K. It only records in 1080p on the front and back. So this camera system here, let me zoom real quick here. You can see here, it has it labeled right here, 64 megapixel ultra shot. And because in the settings, you can actually turn on ultra shot here. So let's back out and let's go ahead and go to settings into the camera. And then when you go to this shot right here, you can turn on the 64 megapixel shot and it actually eliminates zoom. There's no more zoom uh, with the 64 megapixel shot. But I can tell you folks, the 64 megapixel shots are really nice. You can see how fast the shutter is. Uh, really nice. Let me grab a GoPro here and just take a shot here. Nice clear details. Here are the latest J-Labs. Very clear uh, photos. Very nice, quick shutter on there. Some people are concerned about the shutter, uh, you know, but this is just the way it is. It's got a nice, quick shutter. And I, I think that the shutter is, is fast enough, at least for me. But since I'm in the camera, I'll go ahead and show you the settings here. So you, the, the great part about this is it has some of the features of their high-end devices. So it has dual video mode. And it's got slow mode, extra HD, pano, pro mode, uh, text scanner, macro mode, and the time uh, lapse there. And if you got your portrait mode for front and rear, I have tested that. Uh, and then you have your video here. As you see, you can tap at the top and you only get 1080p or 720p. And again, the footage that comes from it is actually fairly decent. Uh, and then you have a night mode here. Now on this right here, you can see that you have a two time zoom and then a five time zoom. Well, six time for, the, for video. But for photo, when I turn off, let me turn off here. Now you can see you have a five time tap for and zoom for photo and then two X as well. But when you go to video, it looks it lets you go to five time. If you tap on it, it looks like it'll let you zoom all the way to six times. So 
uh, 2x with tap, 5x with tap, and then back to your 1x. There's no ultra wide angle lens on here because this is a just a wide angle lens. And so then those are the camera settings that you can get into. But I'll, let me show you a little bit more here in the actual settings. So obviously I keep the watermark turned on so you can see what's what. Uh, and I did come in here and uh, turn on the flip selfie because if you don't, it'll reverse your photos and stuff like that on, when you're using the front camera. Then you got your shooting modes here. You know, this is all the same. Uh, video, you can go with efficient or best compatibility and so on and so on. So not very many settings in here, but folks, I'm telling you, this is a $280 device and the cameras are actually really good. So, but again, with those limitations, the downside about that is uh, you don't get any kind of 4K recording and you don't get any kind of, you do have the 64 megapixel shooter on the back that can give you those high quality photos, but then you lose the capability to zoom. Uh, so, you know, there's there's limitations, I think, simply based on this device's processor. And there's probably other devices that use the same processor that might not have those limitations. But this is a stock Android experience right here. And as I get back into the about section for the phone, you can see Snapdragon 695, uh, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and it's running Android 11 out of the box. I'm sure you'll be able to get Android 12 on here. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, uh, but you know, it's a new device and I'm sure they're gonna keep it up to date. Now, I like the way the storage is set up here. If you had an SD card in here, you'd see another tab for the SD card itself. And these are the settings. So if you go into convenience tools, this is your navigation. So they have these labeled a certain way. It's just kind of strange, but this is the way it's labeled. You got your motion and gestures. Yes, I don't know why you need to do all this, but here is your screen off gestures. So you can get in here, double tap to wake. That's the only one that I use in the music controls. You can draw an eye, but I like to have just the tapping one. So you can do gestures, really nice gestures in there. Swipe down three fingers to do a screenshot. I think that's kind of lame. Touch and hold three fingers to take a screenshot. Super lame. Just use the buttons to take a screenshot. Power, power and volume down will do it. Your power button options right here, you can double click. I hate having, uh, I dislike having uh, things go on with the with the power button because you can make some serious errors when you're on phone calls or, or just using your phone in general. So I keep it strictly for power. But as you can see, you can have the Google Assistant or you can actually have it open the camera with a double tap. So, uh, and again, as far as your screenshot goes, these are the options that you have. You can definitely use power button and volume down. That's the one I have. And uh, that's that's just the way I like to have it right there. Delete original image after editing. You can do that too and screenshot sound, obviously. So here's something that um, you can have, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen this before or is it only on OnePlus devices, but if you take a screenshot, you can determine which side you want it to pop up on after you take the screenshot. So um, that is your convenience tool right there. So. If you get into display and brightness here, you can see it's on dark uh, and then you've got uh, just the regular temperatures and everything in here. I got my font set up like this and you know, just the basics. If you go to more, you can see screen display. You can see how you want to have it. Basically you can hide the camera cutout, which I think is really weird, or you can turn the full screen off, which I think is super weird, but it's an option. Screensaver, obviously you got none, photo and clock. I like the clock. And uh, I always keep my screen to vivid because I like the punchiness of, of the screen there. So that's something in uh, the uh, screen there. And then you have your ambient display. Uh, pick the phone up to show, blah, blah, blah. Here's the always on display. And you can do a schedule to where it comes on from, I'm gonna choose nine o'clock to 11 p.m. is good. Well, I'll go ahead and do 12, 12 a.m. And there you go. And so now the always on display will display during that time. You got your fingerprint icon on there. You can, it'll show the fingerprint reader how it goes. Uh, and then let's get into personalizations. So here's where you get to choose things now. So you got all these different animations here for the fingerprint reader. Uh, all very nice, all very nice. I, I think I, I kind of like that one. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Pretty cool. What do you think? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, 
this is I think this is where it was at before it was on one of these I think but I'm gonna then switch it to this one right here because I really I really like that one and so then that's their fingerprint reader and you can get into your wallpaper and you can go through all these different wallpapers to change to see which one you like the best and that's the default uh, and then you can get into uh, the display and font which you already know you can get to that a different way as well and then your colors is what some people really will be excited about so you can change it to all these different colors um, I think that's a really good color right there so we'll apply that and then you know let's go let's go with something a little brighter so we can really see the difference here now you can see there the colors are different so let me scroll down now you've got all the different colors here now this phone also does have NFC if you're wondering you can do your Google Pay when you're setting up the device it asks you do you want you want to have it already had my card for Google Pay uh, but it, it asks you that too so just keep that in mind uh, and then your icons you can go with the round on this one and you can go with the square since this is still running Android 11 it's not gonna have as many options as Android 12 so just remember that then you got your drawer and you can decide how you want those to look as well and that is how you customize this thing so we go to display here and let me see here I went to that one already uh, you sound notification notification bar blah 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 ultimately um, this is a one plus device let's go on the battery real quick so uh, it says uh, this battery is going to last uh, man so it's been f it's actually been a little over four hours since I charged this up so when I did the initial setup of the first part of the video for the unboxing I went on ahead and put it on the charger while it was updating and downloading on my apps Then I left and came back and then I took it off and I've been using it so I already have an hour and 13 minutes of screen on time with 88% left and it's saying that it's going to last one day and 15 hours uh, <laughs> That's, that's pretty incredible and if you turn on power saving mode you can get one day in 17 hours I don't see the point of power saving mode on a phone like this uh, because you'll be able to really get the battery the best out of it with optimizing night charging and sleep standby optimization it's basically gonna use less power so this in fact with the 4500 milliamp hour battery is going to have some fantastic battery you can already tell most of the time when you in this again this goes back to that processor it's very power efficient so with it having some limitations with oh I can't do 4k video and you know I, things like th those are simple things like that but it you get the just of it you get a better side of it was having good battery life so I would definitely take long battery life with really good cameras other than fantastic cameras with poor battery life what do you think so uh, that's pretty much it I want to show you in the software man I mean uh, this is a stock Android device and again I've got all my applications I got my phone set up pretty much normally how I have it set up so I will do another it's late obviously it's almost 2 a.m. at the recording this second half of this video so um, yeah you want to pretty much um, I'm gonna show you the cameras and stuff I know you want to see that but I'm gonna show it to you in a different video uh, but this phone is very beautiful in person better than I thought it's not sluggish um, because this phone my OnePlus um, my OnePlus uh, Nord N200, it just it just became a, it felt a little sluggish uh, in comparison. Now, what's a downside on this one already is the downside. It's just running Android 11. It should be running. It should it should be running Android um, 12. This is running a Snapdragon 480 uh, though. You know that's a huge difference, and that's another reason why. And it's also got four. It's pretty much got half so this is why it's going to run different but what I do like is the way they make this look over here with the Android skin from the other uh, operating system uh, the other uh, uh, um, OnePlus version so that's something that I do like but you know this newer one it, it, it strips it down if you remember how they did that with the OnePlus 9 as well kind of made some changes but 4 gigs of RAM 160 and 64 gigs of storage versus 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage with the different processors so this one feels speedier uh, and it's just because of that newer processor faster processor and 2 gigs more of RAM that's the only thing I could think of that's gonna make this one feel so much speedier uh, but uh, nonetheless I do like the side mounted fingerprint reader but I also like uh, this uh, in-screen fingerprint reader as well along with the facial recognition it is really fast so well, before I get out of here I'll show you the, the settings here you can do uh, all the different uh, here we go double tap to lock 
uh, you can do all the changes you want to make in here and remember these phones can do uh, their own icon packs you can add your own just go into the store and buy some or just download a free one I actually do have tons of uh, apps uh, icons that I've purchased so you know maybe I'll load one of those up later uh, but uh, ultimately man this is what we're dealing with this is the OnePlus Nord N20 uh, very fast and fluid right out the box and I don't have pretty much any other apps I'm gonna add but what I will do is I will do a little bit of gaming probably and then also show you the cameras uh, and I, it's running 5g so it's doing well uh, and you know I think it's just gonna be a good experience I don't think I'm gonna have a poor experience with this device already because it has six gigs of RAM and the processor I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about shooting in 4k with this because again this only cost me two hundred eighty two dollars to two dollars I don't know what that's about but it cost me two hundred eighty two dollars uh, full cost on T-Mobile so it's a good um, it's a good looking device and it's been running pretty good for the last several hours I've been using it uh, so it's, everything's fine so I will follow up again uh, later on down the line uh, look for more content as soon as I can get it out to you this is the OnePlus Nord N20 right 5G right now currently only available on T-Mobile kind of frustrating because I really wanted an unlocked version but obviously I can have the unlock I just have this unlocked um, to use it on other carriers but it's the same I guess because I'm probably only going to use this on T-Mobile so I guess it really doesn't matter uh, but again before I get out of here I'll do another quick little size comparison with my Nord N200 so it's about the size of the Nord N200 but it doesn't have the same size display uh, and then again here it is with the N200 it's about the same size as this one same kind of it's got a nice design on it too man I really like it so um, yeah I'm about to get out of here and I hope you enjoyed this video regardless of what time I'm recording you're just watching <laughs> so it's your man Jay uh, I'll see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions of the OnePlus Nord N205 G exclusively on T-Mobile right now this is actually pretty good so far folks I'll see you in the next one take care